Good morning, Madison Camelview. Today is Monday, October 25th, and we are running on a day one schedule. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, you may be seated. Okay, Miss Willis, we have a new question of the week. This week we're focusing on being kind. What does being kind mean to you? Well, being kind to me means treating me with respect and treating others with respect. Using nice words, asking things politely, mm -hmm. and just being a kind, nice person. I agree, and I think it's also being really patient and waiting your turn to talk too, because other people have to talk as well. Yes, definitely. I agree. Well, I miss boys and girls. I don't know if a lot of you know, but this is Miss Willis. She's one of our wonderful second grade teachers, and she's here to talk about a big holiday that we have coming up, and it is Dia de, de los Muertos. And I just was hoping that you could share us a little bit of the history of why we're celebrating that this week. Sure. Um, well, our committee, uh, the Climate and Culture Committee, we want to celebrate all um, diverse holidays here at Camel View. And so the first one we celebrate is Dia de los Muertos. Awesome. Can you tell us um, a little bit, Is how is it different from Halloween? Because I know some of our friends celebrate Halloween instead. Yes. Well, Halloween, we dress up in costumes and we get candy and it's very kid-oriented, but even us, us adults like to celebrate too. Um, Dia de los Muertos is a really important holiday in Mexico and other parts of South America. Um, it's a way to celebrate and honor those relatives and friends that have passed before us. I love that. How are we going to celebrate this at Camel View this year? Well, we have an ofrenda in the library. An ofrenda is an altar, and it's decorated with colorful paper flowers. And then students and teachers and families can bring pictures of loved ones who have passed, and that even includes your pets. Wow, I love that. I am so excited to celebrate this. And it looks like we have some friends in the hallway who yes. are following Cubs' expectations, so I'm hoping that they can get back to class. Well, we finish up the announcements yes, today. that would be great, boys. I love that. <laughs> well, boys and girls, today for lunch, we also have a bean and cheese burrito, um, a muffin and protein bistro box, or an encrustable PB&J. And, oh, last but not least, the Farm Express bus will be here after school at 245. Have you had a chance to go to that yet? I have not, but maybe I'll hit it this week. It's pretty wonderful. Okay, boys and girls, we hope that you have a wonderful day, and please remember to follow your Cubs expectations so that our vision can come true. And our vision is, in an ever-changing world, we can lead, we can learn, we can inspire. Thanks, and have a yes kind of day. Bye, Cubs. Bye.